Here, this is a test tube and down at the bottom, we have our zinc and our iodine. And what we're using here is a flask that's gonna be like a fume hood. And we're gonna cover the mouth of the test tube with this flask so it captures that violet vapor, that purple gas inside of it. Now this is an exothermic reaction. So once we add water, you should feel heat coming off the test tube, okay? So this is my student Destiny and Rihanna. And Rihanna, it looks like you're in charge of the water. And Destiny, what are you gonna do? Yeah, you're gonna put the flask on really fast, okay? I'm gonna turn this a little bit for the camera so that we can see what's happening. And you're gonna have to probably stretch a little bit. Okay, you ready? Add your water. Did we capture some of it? No. Okay, I see some, oh, it's reacting down here. You might catch a little bit of vapor up here. Okay, feel it. It should feel, yeah, it's hot, feel it. Does it feel hot to the touch? So if the reaction is hot, is that endothermic or exothermic? Exothermic, right? Okay, let's see what it looks like if we just have you add water on your Petri dish. Let's have you put a drop of water right here on the mixture. And let's see that violet vapor. Right there in a little, a little more. There's the vapor that we're after. That's, that's iodine in its gaseous state. Good job. I'm here for our synthesis reaction with Jaden and Shabazz, and I've got Devin back there and Toby, and they're gonna add a little bit of water to a mixture of iodine and zinc to this test tube, and they're gonna capture the gas in that flask. You ready? One, add your water. Two, three, go. Good, it reacted really fast. Feel the test tube, it should feel hot. Because this is exothermic, you feel it down there. Oh, is it hot? Yeah. It should feel really hot to the touch. And I can see, look at that violet vapor, see that? That vapor coming up? It's coming up inside. Kind of move this around a little bit. Kind of agitate a little bit. Nice job. 